PubMed is the world's largest biomedical database. It is put out by the National Library of Medicine and National Institutes of Health. The abstract and some full text articles are free to everyone, but through subscription USC pays for, you have access to many additional full text articles. Medline is a database of article citations within PubMed. PubMed consists of approximately 18 million Medline article citations and approximately 2 million Life Sciences article citations. To access PubMed, use the Quick Links drop-down menu on the Norris Medical Library homepage. PubMed consists of two databases, the MeSH database, a dictionary of terms used to organize the articles in PubMed, and Medline, a database of article citations. MeSH stands for Medical Subject Headings. MeSH is the National Library of Medicine's controlled vocabulary used for indexing articles in PubMed. Medical experts assign MeSH terms to each article. MeSH describes the article's content. So why use MeSH? MeSH provides a consistent way to find journal articles that may use different terminology for the same concepts. Using MeSH will ensure that you retrieve everything on a subject regardless of the keywords used in the article. When you search using MeSH, synonyms and narrower terms are automatically included. Researchers discovered that searching with MeSH rather than keywords produced 40 to 60 percent more relevant results. Our research question is, which is a more effective treatment for fever, Tylenol or Motrin? We want articles with all three concepts, fever and Tylenol and Motrin. Now we will search the MeSH database to find the correct subject headings. Search one concept at a time. Related MeSH terms will be displayed. Choose the most relevant MeSH term for your search. Every MeSH record has similar elements, definition, subheadings, major topic, and a hierarchy of terms. Search secret. Try to find a relevant MeSH term first. If there is no relevant term, use a keyword instead. Most MeSH terms will display a definition. Use this definition to ensure that you are using the correct MeSH term. Subheadings allow you to narrow your search to specific aspects of your topic. The advantage to using subheadings is that articles are filtered by subtopic. Search secret. Use subheadings only if they exactly represent your topic. Use three subheadings at most. Major topics are the main points of each article. Each article has approximately 10 MeSH terms and of those, one to three are designated as the main points or major topics of the article. Choose major topic if you want fewer but more relevant search results. The advantage to restricting your search to major topic is that fewer results will be retrieved and those retrieved articles will be more relevant. The disadvantage to restricting your search to major topic is that you may miss a few relevant articles. Search secret. In disease-related searches, designate the disease or condition as the major topic. MeSH terms are arranged in a hierarchy from broad to narrow. Narrower terms will automatically be included in your search unless you check the Do Not Include box. Search secret. Leave the Do Not Include box unchecked so you retrieve narrower terms in your search results. Add fever with the subheading Drug Therapy to the search builder. Now follow the same process with your next two terms, Tylenol and Motrin. Notice the mesh for Tylenol is acetaminophen. There is a non-comprehensive list of synonyms that will be included in your search. I will choose the subheading Therapeutic Use, then add the term to the search builder. Now I will search mesh for Motrin. The MeSH term for Motrin is ibuprofen. There is also a non-comprehensive list of synonyms. Like our last concept, acetaminophen, I will use the subheading therapeutic use and add this term to the search builder. We have used the MeSH database to find the correct subject headings and build our search. Now we are ready to run our search in PubMed. 
After you run your search and retrieve results, you may further restrict your search by using the Limits feature. The Limits section allows you to narrow the search results by publication date and type of article, such as RCT or meta-analysis. The publication type Systematic Reviews is located in the Subsets box. Other limits include species, language, sex, and age groups. I will limit my search by English and Human, then rerun my search. Now you will want to review your search results and access full text articles. Below each abstract are mesh terms which describe the content of each article. Next to each abstract is the red Find It at USC link, which will indicate if the article is available electronically or in print. If it is not available in either format, you may order the article from another library using Doc Retriever. It may be easier for you to review your search results using Abstract View. Use Display Settings to change the format and number of results and select the sort order. A MyNCBI account will allow you to save searches, save article citations, sign up for email alerts, create customized filters, and more. Register for a new MyNCBI account or sign in with your Gmail account. Once you are signed into your MyNCBI account, you may permanently save your current search. From your MyNCBI account, you may rerun the search at any time. You may also permanently save article citations to your MyNCBI account collections. Through your MyNCBI account, you may customize the filters that appear on the right side of the screen. Your MyNCBI account will contain your permanently saved searches, bibliography, article citations, recent activity, and customized filters. For questions on PubMed or any other database, ask a librarian.